Welcome back to Elden Ring, guys. So we um, turned down Varia's proposal, proposal last time. Once I've got some feedback from you guys, I'll maybe join the thing. But I don't necessarily want to go on that quest line because it might involve doing a lot more invasions. I don't know. But um, I'll see how it goes. Thankfully, he's given us the option to think it over. So I've had to think. I've had to think about where we should be going. Uh, Ainsel River, we can't go any further in. We've not got another imbued stone sword key for the four belfries. Um, really, my, my choices are Lindell, uh, Mount Gelmir, this tunnel that might lead to the Altus Plateau, and of course, Kaelid. Um... So, I'm not entirely sure what to do, but before we decide on that, we should probably go and try and find Sorcerer Thops. So, I'm, um, I'm going to start from Renala's Sight of Grace and work backwards, because he's bound to be in a more one of the more regal areas of the, uh, of the Academy. So, uh, my eyes were opened to what PvP is like last time, <laughs> and uh, I'm, my build is probably alright to be fair, but everyone was hitting so hard, I guess magic is a lot more viable in this game now, so. Sack that, we are back in beautiful offline mode. Where I am good at the game. <laughs> I haven't edited that video yet, so I don't even know if I've cut the whole thing out. I might have done. I just said that, and then you guys are going to ask me to show you, I imagine. Right, Tops, where are you, buddy? Right, now, he's, I imagine he'll be in somewhere that is like an empty, empty room. So it's a question of finding said empty room. Okay, so if we go up this ladder, we'll be the pumpkin head and there's two or three sorcerers, so he's not going to be in there. We'll probably at the Church of Vows. No point going out here because we're going to get hit by the big giant ball. So we probably take a left here and see where we get to. Ow. Mr. Pops! Do not want to deal with that um, iron version. He could be up above, right, because there's no enemies up there. It wouldn't interfere with the boss fight if you sent him there before you did the boss fight. Uh, obviously, I'll either put this in fast forward or cut it out if I don't find him, so... I'm hoping he's in the actual building and not in, like, the surrounding areas. that are more... filled with enemies and stuff. Mr. Thops! Where are you, Thops? Oh, no. Nope. You're not allowed in here. Let's so backtrack a bit more. We've still not opened this door, actually, have we? That's interesting. So where would that door be, geographically? I think it would be... sort of in... Yeah, the door next to the gank with the warrior jar and the three air force sorcerers. Yeah, we probably access it via the roof. Let's maybe jump on the roofs because there's some stuff up there we've not found yet. Okay, definitely feeling like we use that dragon halberd next. That'd be interesting. Got a lightning buff as well. Right, right, right. So the question is, um, there's an area I can't really get to. Now, it's not that area, I don't think. Let's just make sure. It is near there, to be fair. It's lower down, that the door I'm thinking of, isn't it? Hey, man, you never know. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we use the water. Oh, yeah, we need to go back down to the water wheel area. And see what's down there, because... Yeah, of course, of course! Yeah, because when we went down there, we didn't explore, we just got abducted by the... Um, by the Iron Virgin that was down there. No hugs, thank you. Oh, thank you!
Yeah, I mean, you can try and come up this on the other side as well. Oh, no, we can't. It might be somewhere else it takes us up to. I'm glad I remember this. Maybe it's gone. Yeah, so there might be somewhere on the other side that we can go up to. Without ball. Oh, we could have jumped up there. Alright, let's do this. Long tail cat talisman. Interesting. Is that to do with fall damage? Like the silver cat ring was in previous games. Grants immunity to fall damage doesn't but doesn't prevent death from a high fall. A brooch depicting Lacrima, the long tailed cat. Grants immunity to fall damage. Lacrima features in the fables of Rhea Lucaria, in which she is described as a fairy cat who was fond of playing in the Great Bell Tower. Okay. Now, this might be a dead end, of course. But also, it might not be. Yeah, we, we, we tried to, I tried to pick up a, a few items here last time. Oh, this guy fell off. We should be able to get up on top of it. Any ambushes lying in wait? Probably. Oh, cool. We've not had one of these yet. Right, let's check down the, cri the little crystal tunnel. I don't think you can actually get out of here via the lift. Could it be another bit that we could access? I think there is an extra place to jump off. These are going to get riskier and riskier, man. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good risky jump? Oh, 
Well, I think that that's it, to be honest. Yeah, I doubt Sorcerer, Sorcerer Fox is down here. He might have died, like, on the way in. Oh, Mr. Fox. Fox spell bearing. Flintstone staff. Fox barrier. How did he die? Okay, fair enough. Uh, we'll need to hand this in at the round table anyway, and I want to see if uh, D has come back. I want to check in on Russia, so. Hey, I thought you said you were leaving, man. Oh, Roger. Spellblade's pointed hat, Spellblade's travelling attire. And a letter. An episode of tragedy. Letter written in, written in a trembling hand. I forgot to tell you, but it seems D has a younger brother. I heard he lies in a deep sleep in the aqueduct beside the eternal city of Nokron. And it's said he stood before the Prince of Death, not far beyond that spot. Okay, D's brother. Maybe that's why his armor looks so weird. Uh, aqueduct. Nocron. We're not going to be going there for a while. Right, let's uh, check their bell bearings. Sorcerothops' bell bearing found upon his perished flesh. Roger, the sorcerer's bell bearing. Yeah. Um, we got a spell. A lifelong pursuit of Thops, the blunt stone, creates a magic force field that deflects sorceries and incantations, hold to continuously create barriers. Future generations will learn. They'll know the foolishness of the sneering sorcerers who ridicule this theory, little realizing that it was in fact a discovery worthy of a new conspectus of a new conspectus of the academy. Erect a magic force field to deflect spells. So, one barrier per spell that's thrown at you, I think, I would presume. And then, his equipment. Uh, Roger has equipment, sorry. Glintstone Sorcier... Sorcier. Glintstone Sorcerer Rogier's traveling, traveling attire, graced with an intricate aristocratic decoration. Strengthens glintstone sorcery skills. Rogier spent his entire life, life behaving with utter detachment. No one noticed the anger, grief, regret or fear that existed along with it. I gotta love the cape. Hang on, we need to get rid of this helmet to look at this stuff. That's lovely. Not on us, but... That's hideous. Scholarly. Dirty sorcerers. What else have we not tried on? Oh, mausoleum, yeah. The Volga Militia. Marionettes, yeah, we tried that. One. <laughs> oh god. Okay, fair enough. Right, let's offer these to the maiden husks. Maybe talk to Fear as well.
bought all the stuff off uh, Russia. Alright, fair enough. Right guys, I think I'm going to go to Kaled, but um, it's worth talking to Fia, right, about what happened to Russia. Who might? That door's open. Fia's gone in there. Do you know what happened, Rodrika? Greetings. Are you here for s Is that D? No! No! What happened? Finally, it is returned to its rightful place. The stolen Hallobrand of the exalted noble. And now, I must bid you goodbye as well, though I ask you deliver this message to the round table hold. I am Fia, deathbed companion, hark round table. Disturb not the death of Godwin, the exalted. We who humbly live in death, live in waiting to one day welcome our Lord. What right does anyone have to object? Our Lord will rise. The Lord of the many and the meek. She's a servant of the Black Knives. Fia serves the Prince of Death. Because Godfrey was the first lord, Godwin the Golden was the first demigod to die in the Night of the Black Knives and became the Prince of Death. Damn it, D. Um, that sucks, man. Three NPCs. Look at the thorns on him. Right, let's go and talk to Gideon, I guess. Well, I took you, Mama, to lay out your arms. Greeting, are you here for? Yeah, I guess it's just. Uh... Well, this place is really empty now. Everyone's dead. Ah, well then. Man, that really sucks. May the golden. Gideon, mate. Tragedy has befelled. Journey to the capital. The two things you may be. It was supposed to tell him. Uh, I guess we maybe need to rest first. Let's just try that. Journey to the Katufin, you may be up. Nothing, really. Weird. So that, my guess is then that, that, yeah, Fia serves the Prince of Death. She's not critical of the Knight of the Black Knives. She is, like, serving the people who started it. Well, she's serving Godwin. No. How could his father has a now? Oh, what? No, how could I say? Father has a now. Oh, no way. That's the, uh, oh, we found this uh, um, at the beginning area that we went back to from the two belfries, the four belfries. Yeah, yeah, take it. Is that ash? I can smell the ancient storm in it. My thanks. 
I'll gladly take it. Yeah, I'll make you stronger. I'm not like Roderica. Well, oh, you're don't a warrior. Feel the presence of spirits, let alone see them. Still, this ash, it reminds me of my first hawk. Thank you. All right. Oh, that's so lucky. In this ash, I can smell the ancient storm. It reminds me of my first hawk. In this ash, it reminds me. Excellent. Okay, so maybe her. Uh... Maybe she'll go somewhere else now. It's cool that she mentioned Roderica as well. Yeah, just doing that thing to see if she moves. Rather than waiting until next time. Man, poor D. In this ash, it reminds me of Okay. Right, I guess we check out these armor as depressing as this is. I don't think it's as heavy as this, no. Armor depicting entwined twins of gold and silver. The two known as D are inseparable twins. They are of two bodies and two minds, but one single soul. Not once do they stand together, not one word do they speak to one another. Perhaps this armor longs to find its way to the other D. Okay. Definitely cool. It's such a massive difference in poise though. Well, with the leggings, everything else is not too different. I'm going to have to think about that. I mean, if I was to use different armor, I guess, when we use the halberd. Which I could upgrade a bit now, to be fair. Just while we're here. No, I could actually just upgrade it and use it because I've got enough level 3s to get it to... Well, I can get it to plus 10, I can't get it to plus 11. I'm undecided. I'm going to just, because I don't want to spend the whole video running around, we're going to... And I'd like to use my safe weapon for going to Kaelid, so... Yeah, we're going to head to Kaelid. Um, we could head to Lindell, but I don't really want to go there. Straight away. So there's obviously this here. So, we're just going to go, man. We're just going to go. Oh, I mean, there's a silver lining there with being able to help. The Feli, but... Yeah, D, Roger, Thops, all dead. Fear's gone now as well. Right. We're off to Kaelid. Um, I don't know how weak or strong we are for Kaelid, but it's right next to Limgrave, right? So. Feels like we should be going here. Even though, you know, we've been prompted to go to Lindell, but. I'm waiting for the sky to change. Oh, we've got some lore here as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We've got a church as well. So, we're gonna obviously be going through thoroughly. We're getting in as m many confrontations as possible to make sure we're ready. Lord Godfrey, at the last, at last at the end of his campaign, his golden armies unvanquished and unbowed, yet finds grace lost, tattered and faded. Hmm. So I guess Godfrey had, was successful, he'd conquered, they couldn't find grace. Oh, we've been invaded. I'm offline, I swear.
Anastasia, Tarnished Eater. Oh, right, nice. Butcher's knife. Yeah, that's just like the... Yeah. Yeah, nice one. Sacred Scorpion Charm. Here we go. Raises holy attack but lowers damage negation. A talisman carried by assassins who strike unseen. Patterned on a scorpion freshly shed of its exoskeleton. Its claws seizing a heart with a blessed glow. Raises holy attack power but lowers damage negation. Okay, so attacking from the shadows. Let's see if um, Melina shows up here. The smoldering church. Cookbook. Missionary's cookbook. 14 and 3. Poison pot. Poison, uh, roped poison pot and poison bow and dart. The missionary level 3. Silver pickled. Oh, nice. What do we need to craft that, though? Porto. Oh, we've not even got any porto foul feet. Yeah, we handled that invader better than the real in better than real PvP. <laughs> hmm. Okay, Torrent. We're back here. Forty hours later. So I guess in terms of landmarks, because we're fortunate that we've got the map frag a couple of map fragments for the area, so. Um, we could easily just head north to make to pick the other one up and plot our journeys out a bit better. But let's just head for the Great Tree. I should have used the Sacred Tear, sorry. I might have two of them. Right, these are just uh, tree guys. Poison tree, guys. Alright, alright. Fine, you guys. I underestimated you. Okay, those guys are difficult to judge the rest of Caelid by. Because they've been at every... They're like at every great tree. Oh, you jump bump, I jump down. Yes, I'm here. So they've got like a growth on their back now. That was a lot of them. Bring it on, boys. Oh, cheeky bastard. I wonder what nighttime looks like in Caelid. Come on down! Oh, 
No, I'm expecting this to be a bit more challenging. Let's do it. Putrid. Got no soap. Oh, dead. Oh, shit. This is just horrible. That has got such range on it, dude. I'm out of here. That's got insane range on it, man. See, man, the terrain. Why is this a boss arena? Welcome to Kaylee. A boss that I've stomped first try three times. But in Kaylid, no. No, no, no. <sighs> right, we've got to be better prepared, man. Which one of these gets rid of Scarlet Rot? I don't have any sac sacramental buds. Right, we need uh, we need soap. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Right. Now, have we got anything that increases our resistance to rot? These are all like fire, lightning, holy, non-physical. So. It's our uh, immunity that we want to go up, right? So this stuff doesn't really matter. Yeah, so we want this immunizing horn charm instead of the um, pearl drake thing. So I'm going to go for that. 
Problem is, we've got to kill all those forest guy, uh, tree tree dwelling numpties on the way. Oh, dude, dude, dude. I mean, there's no point summoning Latena, is there? Because she just got stomped by the last one. Whatever, dude. You're poison. With your poison nonsense. And then Jesus, we picked up quite a lot of runes. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah, this is where we came out from the the well. Yeah. I wonder if this is where the tournament is. I don't know. It looks more like it's some kind of jail. I think it, the the tournament was a, or the festival, sorry, was at um, Red Main Castle, which is to the south. All right, this is gonna suck. That's a great start, man. What am I doing? Yeah, you run back to your tree. Where's my damage? Nearly run off the edge. Oh, this blows, man.
Okay, it sprays it more in front of it than behind it. Yeah, I should be running behind it. Take it. No, I'm not off the edge. That's the strike. Oh my god, fuck you. Good lord. You don't even deserve the chest pound, but you're gonna get it anyway. Green burst crystal tear and flame shrouding crack tear. Bloody hell. Right, what did we get? Green burst. Temporarily boosts stamina recovery. And the other one. What was the other one? It was one of these shrouding tiers, anyway. I think it was this one, the flame shrouding one. Boosts fire attacks. Oh, right. My goodness, we have no heals left. Got 17,000 runes. Well, that was worth about 10,000 runes, I think. I don't think we really need to go this way because we're just going to get nailed by the archers. Let's just see. I don't think that there is a way across anyway. But... That is a rather large jar. All right. Oh, hello. Who would have thought it? Right next to the great tree, the minor earth tree, whatever you call it. Minor earth tree catacombs. Perfect. Oh, this is a good way to move on. I think. Nope. And wow, we still need. Six, seven and a half thousand runes. Four and a half thousand. How much are these worth? Right, we're going into Dexterity. Yeah, I need to stick with the hammer, I think, just for the beginning of Kaelid here. Right, what kind of... Okay, we can, we can still destroy these little goons. These little gooseberries. Um... Get our lantern on because we're going to get ambushed left, right, and centre here. I know I don't need to do this because we're offline, but I've got to do it. Anywhere to jump off?
really. A forked greatsword, interesting. I mean, we've not we've not found the the door, have we? Must be an invisible wall involved. Am I losing it? Sometimes there's a skinny entrance. Something moving nearby. Maybe something in the middle we can drop down from. So maybe go back to the elevator room. <laughs> there was an entrance behind us. Of course there was. Okay, this is gonna. Oh. Got an upgraded torch, chaps. get to the other side. We've got our talisman on. Where do we get up from? There are a ladder I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing.
That doesn't work for Scarlet Rock. Oh, God. Is there a, uh, somewhere to jump off? That looks suspicious, right? Hold on. Maybe underneath this. Aha! Oh, you little shit. Oh, this. I need to deal with these things. Alright, we made it. Ugh. Right, what fresh hell is this going to be? One's got a sword, one's got a scepter. I will be going for magic guy first. There goes my bubble. Dude, you're supposed to do magic, not fire. Really sucks, man. Wow, I couldn't poise through that. is not
I hate this so much. I've got to get rid of one of them. I bet you guys saw as soon as I, you saw me running around without my weapon, you knew I was going to do it, man. I bet you knew. You've been laughing. Oh, hold the fire for a bit longer, man. This is not a good way to start our adventure in Kaelid.
Man, this plane throwing bullshit. That does me in, man. That was lucky. Trapped. Get down. Oh, God, that could have been bad. Pumpkin head ashes. You love to see it. Goodness gracious, that was atrocious. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm only gonna lose these 9,000 runes in Kaelid anyway. Jesus. Oh man. That's enough Elden Ring for me today. Right guys, we're gonna leave it there. We're in Kaelid, I'm traumatized, and I've walked roughly two meters across the border. <laughs> we got invaded, we got killed multiple times by a couple of repeat bosses, which is the scary thing, but you know, they had they had pretty tough variants to them, right? That was a, a double boss, and the other one, the Scarlet Rot stuff, really made it challenging. But I just, if I would have clocked that the, I thought that it was doing an AoE of the Scarlet Rot all around it, if I would have realized that it wasn't going behind the tree, then uh, it would have been a lot easier, probably. But anyway, we'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> leave me a like if you didn't. Just remember, everyone never trusted an on crate. I'll see you next time.